you and COVID-19. Is there a way out of this pandemonium? From one disguised horror and sheer fright, the emotions expressed as a result of the spread of coronavirus has been overwhelming and awful. Being sick isn't something anyone prays for, but when the sickness is like threatening and almost instant, it becomes a negative experience to live through. The Harvard Health Publishing reported that the rapid spread of the virus that causes COVID-19 has sparked along worldwide. The World Health Organization has declared this rapidly spreading coronavirus outbreak a pandemic, and many countries are grappling with the rise in confirmed cases. In the U.S., the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is advising people to be prepared for disruptions to daily life that will be necessary if the coronavirus spreads within communities. Setbacks will happen. Things will go wrong. The more we leave our valleys of comforts in passionate pursuit of our mountains of opportunity, the more obstacles we will face as we make our climbs in the success ladder of life. The big question on the lips of many is, is COVID-19 the result of the pursuit gone wrong by an inquisitive scientist? Is there a hidden agenda to the wild outbreak? Is there more to it than meets the eye? According to Kenneth McIntosh, MD, coronaviruses are important human and animal pathogens. At the end of 2019, a novel coronavirus was identified as the cause of a cluster of pneumonia cases in Wuhan, a city in the Hubei province of China. It rapidly spread, resulting in an epidemic throughout China, followed by an increasing number of cases in other countries throughout the world. In February 2020, the World Health Organization designated the disease COVID-19 which stands for coronavirus disease in 2019. The virus that causes COVID-19 is designated severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2, SARS-CoV-2 previously. It was referred to as 2019 now. Understanding of COVID-19 is evolving. Interim guidance has been issued by the World Health Organization and by the United States Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Nations are going weary, people are getting threatened by the virus and hopes are diminishing. Individuals, citizens can't bear to let go of all they have known and release their needy clinching to the way things have always been. Why are the narratives so frightening? Kenneth McIntosh, MD, went further to state that globally more than 300,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19 have been reported. Since the first report of case from Wuhan, a city in the Hubei province of China at the end of 2019, more than 80,000 COVID-19 cases have been reported in China, with the majority of those from Hubei and surrounding provinces. A joint World Health Organization, WHO, China Facts Finding Mission estimated that the epidemic in China peaked between late January and early February 2020, and the rate of new cases decreased substantially by early March. However, cases have been reported in all continents except for Antarctica and have been steadily rising in many countries. These include the United States, most countries in Western Europe, including the United Kingdom and Iran. Are dim futures all we can imagine with the spread of COVID-19 globally, day after day, week after weeks, news of new casualties takes the lead globally, and pessimism has become the easiest way to make sense of what's happening around the world today. Symptoms According to the WHO, the most common symptoms of COVID-19 are fever, tiredness, and a dry cough. Some patients may also have a runny nose, sore throat, nasal congestion and aches, and pains or diarrhea. About 80% of people who get COVID-19 experience a mild case, about as serious as a regular cold, and recover without needing any special treatment. 
about one in six people the who says become seriously ill the elderly and people with underlying medical problems like high blood pressure heart problems or diabetes or chronic respiratory conditions are at a great risk of serious illness from covid-19 could anything be more liberating now with covid-19 yes preventive measures are liberating hope also must not be lost scientists are working around the clock for vaccines to cure this deadly disease in the meantime we must take precautions here are a few precautions you can take avoid crowded environment limit contact with people who show signs of being contaminated maintain enough distance 6 feet or more between yourself and anyone outside wash your hands often with soap and warm water consistently for 30 seconds use hand sanitizers that contain more alcohol as best you can avoid touching your eyes nose or mouth with your hands after shaking anyone touching objects or sneezing restrict your movement to the barest minimum unless it's completely important stay home as much as possible to further reduce your risk of being exposed clean and disinfect all surfaces in your homes such as counters table tops door knobs bathroom fixtures toilets phones keyboards tablets and bedside tables every day be more empathetic and compassionate to all those contaminated with the virus by enlightening and educating everyone around you on the need to be safe and save others do not discriminate or reproach affected individuals